It's time for our daily business chat with Richard Southern. And Richard, it's something that I've noticed. I know a lot of people have noticed the number of empty shelves at Canadian grocery stores, and that continues to grow. Sure does, Erica. Something we've been uh, keeping a close eye on the last little while. There's a few reasons for those empty shelves you're noticing at your local grocer. Yeah, obviously, a big one is the fact that a lot of the staff is away sick or they're quarantining. Uh, we heard from uh, some grocery industries who say that for many stores, like 30% or more of the staff are away right now. And that's a number that continues to rise. The other big factor, though, that's starting, we think, to play a big role here is this new rule put in place by the federal government that says truckers coming across the border from the United States have to be vaccinated in order to enter Canada. They have, have to quarantine. If they're not, that's not really an option uh, for the truckers. So uh, the prime minister and his health minister were both asked about this issue today. Here's what they had to say. We will continue to make sure uh, that we are getting what we need in Canada while, as always, putting the safety and health of Canadians as our top priority. The only way to go through this crisis is to lead to universal vaccination. And that, as I said, is not only good, the right health policy, but also the right economic policy. So we take away we take away from that that they're probably not budging on this issue. Uh, grocers, they rely on just in time delivery, uh, meaning even some small transport issues like this or even the weather that we've seen lately can make uh, an impact. Still, Erica, the um, Canadian uh, Retail Council say this could all be temporary. Uh, it says grocers are working on uh, other ways to try and get products into stores. All right, and shoppers are experiencing kind of a double whammy of sorts. The items that are on store shelves are costing us a lot more. They sure are, and we got the latest sort of a snapshot on that today with December inflation coming out from Stats Canada. Inflation at the hottest it's been in 30 years it was up 4.8% year on year in December. Of particular note, Food prices, they were up 5.2% on a whole, but breaking that down, chicken uh, was up 6.2% uh, year on year. Beef costs almost 12% more than it did a year ago. Bacon, 19.1% more. Price of gasoline up 33%. And uh, should also note household appliances jumped almost 9%, the biggest gain since 1982. Now, aside, Erica, from this impacting our, our pocketbook, it really could have the Bank of Canada set to pull the trigger on an interest rate hike a week today. The bank meets a week today very well, could increase its benchmark lending rate to tackle this inflation. We'll be watching that closely. All right, finally, and another thing uh, we're following closely, we first brought you this story yesterday about safety concerns over 5G network access at air and airports, I should say. Yeah, Pfizer had a great story about this yesterday. It's quite something. A lot of international airlines are canceling flights to the United States because they're worried about the new 5G uh, wireless cell phone uh, waves in the States potentially impacting uh, some of the, the components on the airplane, specifically the radio altimeter, which uh, can tell pilots how high they are off the ground when they're, they're coming in to land. But we learned today that Canadian airlines are not canceling any flights to the United States for this reason. And Transport Canada actually has uh, recommendations out already for pilots who use these altimeters to avoid certain uh, spots in the United States. But uh, what's more, this, this type of 5G is not, we understand, being installed in Canada. They're using a different frequency here. So bottom line, Canadian Airlines not so worried about this uh, 5G business, Eric. All right. Well, thanks for joining us, Richard. That's a business editor, Richard Southern. Thank you.